Hello and welcome back. Now that we have created the company code, we are going to configure the controlling area. This is the next important organizational unit for cost accounting purposes. To customize the controlling area, we are going to go to SPRO, then IMG, then to Enterprise Structure, Definition, then to Controlling, and then to Maintain Controlling Area. We get a pop-up window and we are going to select Maintain Controlling Area. We select it. And here we have a list of controlling areas that have already been created. In our case, we're going to create a new entry. So we go to new entries and we are ready to create our new controlling area. So we want our controlling area to be the same as company code. So if we click on this, we can enter our company code, which is BRIQ. We run it and then our controlling area field has been populated. Our name is there, it's Bridges IQ. Um, the chart of accounts has been populated from the company code, the same as fiscal year variant. And this is controlling area is the same as company code. So we are ready to save this. So there it is, we have our controlling area as BRIQ, which is the same as our company code. So now that we have created a company code and controlling area, we are going to assign the company code to the new controlling area that we have just created. Again, what we are trying to do is to assign the company code to the new controlling area that we have just created. So to do that, we are going to go to assignment. Again, it's ent enterprise structure, then to assignment, then to controlling, and we want to assign company code to controlling area. So again, we select that. And here's a list of all the controlling areas that have, are in the system. We just created ours a few minutes ago, and that's going to be somewhere in this list. That was BRIQ. So we select it and then we want to assign it to company code. So we have our controlling area and we are going to create a new entry for the company code and our company code is Bridges IQ, BRIQ. We select that and then save. Enter. And here it is. So this is our company code. This is our controlling area. So we have assigned our company code to the controlling area. So in the next video, we are going to create a plant. And a plant is one of the most important units in maintenance related organizational structure. We are going to, again, once we create a plant, we are going to assign it to uh, a company and we'll see how that is done in the next video. 
So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.